So Alicia, we know that networking is very important key in job search, even before starting for a job. So I tell my students at the university that while you are at the university, build relationship, build connection, and follow those companies, comment on their uh, profiles, and build relationship. But still, for some people, networking is a very strange activity, if we can say, you know, going to events, talking to strangers, but it's it's a key. So in your career coaching, how can people overcome the fear of networking? Sure. So if you don't think of it as, <laughs> don't think of it as networking, because I think networking just has this scary connotation yes. to it. Just think of it as in college, right? You go to various um, activities, maybe sporting events, maybe parties, or just whatever other activities are going on on campus. And yeah. as you're there, you're interacting naturally as mm -hmm. your authentic self and you're having regular conversations about everyday things. So just extend that into a professional setting, right? So if you're interested in a product that you own, right? Let's say you have an Apple watch and you are really interested in the Apple product. It's like, well, I want to dive deeper into what Apple is all about. Now, I know that's a large company, but I want to know more about how Apple runs as an organization. I love their product. Let me learn more. So then just doing a little bit of research about Apple, the company, and then saying, oh, well, now that I'm in college, let me see if there are any alumni within this college that work at Apple. Let yeah. me just have a conversation with them. And it's as if you're going throughout your day-to-day -day in college, just talking to other students or students that have already graduated to learn more about organizations. But if you start somewhere small, like I like wearing this product and I want to learn more, or I like this event that I attended that was sponsored by this company, or I like whatever else it is, start where something that you, you like to do it or like to wear it or whatever it is, and go from there. And then yeah. what that allows to happen is you're just expanding your connections. They just happen to be professional connections rather than your personal connections. And you can do this in a number of ways, but the beauty of this generation right now is that you don't have to travel to meet all of these individuals. I mean, yeah. you can go online through LinkedIn as an example for professional networking, and you can see all of the alumni that are in your college or that are from your college that work at some of these target companies that you're interested in just exploring more about. And just in these conversations, it doesn't have to be about, hey, I need a new job. Like you're saying, before you're even looking for that job, it's not, hey, I need a job. It's more about gaining their insights into yeah. the organization, into that industry. And just having simple conversations about what have they seen are the industry trends, what have what have been their best practices or experiences within their organization and what have their career paths been yeah. because you may find out more than you anticipate within just a 10 15 minute conversation yeah i tell my students whenever you're attending in person some of the events are back you know identify at least meet three new people have the curiosity mindset ask them what their intent from attending this event and ask them about their career choices, about their life. It's not about you, it's about them. How can you add value? How can you help them? And then later on, it's like putting seeds in the in the grass mm -hmm. and then it will blossom, but it will take time. Absolutely. And you bring up a really great point because you said, talk to three people. Now, three is not overwhelming, but when you walk into a networking event, especially like you said, the ones that are back in person and there's a sea of people, to somebody who doesn't already like the word networking and doesn't want to do that, a sea of people can be very overwhelming. Yeah. Yeah. So if you ahead of time think, okay, I want to interact with these three people or I want to interact with these three companies, mm -hmm. you can make it a point um, to have questions already in your head prepared. Yeah. You can feel comfortable because you are prepared and it's not just going up to random people yeah. through the sea of, what could be a hundred people or more? Yeah. yeah, those are great tips, Alicia. Thank you very much. Again, for the audience watching, all if you have any, if you have any other tips in terms of networking, you can leave them below and tune in next time for another great question with Alicia.